Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video on my channel. And today's video is going to be about the Indie State Fair ice cream eating competition. Now, I looked all over the internet, everywhere, to look for footage of this contest. Unfortunately, there is no footage up as of now. But there are some interesting little clips and articles and backstage video uh, clips that were uploaded onto the Emily Facebook page and other websites on the internet. So we're going to be looking at those today. This isn't going to be a full-on uh, contest reaction or review, breakdown, and reaction, any sort of video like that. There's really no footage to dissect or look at, unfortunately. So we're going to watch uh, little themed videos around regarding the contest, but not actually look at the contest itself. Uh, but maybe there will be footage that's coming out soon, and if there is footage that comes up after I upload this video, then I will take a look at that too. So what we have here in front of me is Sam Barclay doing a backstage video interview with Brian Delight Dazinski and Juan Morbite Rodriguez. This is a really cool video. I think it's pretty hilarious too. We're going to take a look at this together. And then after that, we're going to take a look at an article on the MLE website regarding Mickey Sudo's victory at the ice cream eating contest. And then another random article I found about Mickey Sudo winning online on a different website. So let's get started with this video. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can actually hear what's going on. All right, so let's start this backstage interview that uh, Sam Barclay did pre-contest with Brian Dudlight Dudzinski and one more by Rodriguez. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, we are live at the Indiana State Fair uh, World Ice Cream Eating Championships, the Prairie Farms World Ice Cream Eating Championships here at the Indiana State Fair. I'm joined with two Gotta very handsome young in. men. Um, who are a little bit concerned about the uh, the requirement of wearing headwear. We're going to join Cross Live now. It's a live cross to Brian Dudlight Dudzinski and Juan Morbite Rodriguez. Crossing live to you now, gentlemen. Off from the studios. So they actually had to wear hats for this contest, which is something that I personally haven't seen before. Dudlight, first of all, talk us through your hairstyle. What's going on in your mind when you do that every morning? I just did it right now, so... Just he just he said, I just did it right now. As I can, and then I hold it back with a headband for a little bit. I love Dudlight, man. I, I this this, this guy is so funny. Who wants to get transferred for a lot of money. <laughs> I, I would love to play soccer, too. <laughs> what? Now, Juan Rodriguez, Juan's like, what the hell? Yeah. He actually took that comment seriously and says, I would love to play yeah. soccer. But uh, this, this event does require uh, hat wear, so let's go with the hats on, gentlemen. Uh, if you say so. Let, let's conceal the beauty. Dude, Juan um, is so great. Oh, this is talk, so I funny. I saw some uh, social media content earlier in the week. I think there was a throwdown from Dudlight regarding his guns. Now, I thought we'd just get it out of the way. Let's oh, the snap. I didn't see that. Uh, now, let's bigger, see. But... Okay, let's pause this. Let's pause this. Oh, let's, okay, let's take a look at this. Juan definitely does have more definition going on. Yeah, but I got the definition. Let's get it. So, he can curl all the night. Can't really see the traps, man. You got a shirt okay, on. So, rock. Okay, so hang on a second. So, so I guess Dudlight's got the size, but like one, more, one more bite has the definition. But one more bite also has, I believe, courtesy of one Leslie Ryder, some incredible... No, no, no. Sarah Reineke. Sarah Reineke, forgive yeah, me. Reineke. Sarah Reineke. Ice cream themed tights. Juan, talk me through the magnificence. So as you can see, it's... You know, we got a comb at my ankle base, all the way up to about like eight scoops. All was the way Sarah Renegade at the contest? I very don't know. Nice, I wasn't paying attention. Very bright and colorful. Now let's says, look at me, look at. Me. <laughs> Let us admire the fact that his pants are literally ice cream cones. Like, where do you get this apparel, Juan? Please tell me where you get this stuff, because you're always wearing crazy stuff like this, and it's absolutely hilarious. Very nice, very bright and colorful. It says, look at me. Uh, back live in the studio. Uh, thank you very much, Dudlight. One more bite. We're gonna get going in a moment. That was good. So let's move on to the article. So MLE already put up. So okay. So the MLE news has been very infrequent and not very uh, updated. But looks like they're trying to get on top of it now. Pseudo sets a new world ice cream eating record. Not going to lie. Didn't see that one coming. And we're not talking about the fact that Mickey Sudo set a new world record with a staggering 16 and a half pints of ice cream in just six minutes at the Prairie Farms World Ice Cream Eating Championship at the Indiana State Fair. She is Mickey Sudo. She is the number one ranked female eater in the world. She does stuff like this. We are talking the utter intensity of this championship event and the lengths to which Sudo was pushed by the rest of the field. Today, everyone on stage deserves to take a bow. Yes, it was Mickey who ate 16 and a half 
Pines of Prairie Farms ice cream. This analysis does not suggest otherwise, but it was her rivals that pushed her to the length she did not know she had. So let's get it out of the way. Props to one more by Rodriguez. He has never eaten harder. He has never eaten with more tenacity or more drive. He has never so richly deserved to win that he finished second with 15 pints, equaling the existing world record. Should not, dim should not diminish his performance. No Juan Rodriguez at the table, no new Mickey pseudo world record. Major League Eating is reluctant to speculate on the reasons for each wanting to beat the other so very much. Both gave all. The difference was simply God-given, perhaps. So, hail the queen, hail to pseudo, hail to the new world ice cream eating record. But never forget the sound of footsteps and how the heart drives the stomach. We are one body, muscle and soul are roommates. Full results, full results below, a hearty round of applause to, to the people of Indiana State Fair. Full results, Mickey Sudo 16 and a half. Pints of Prairie Farms Vanilla Ice Cream in 6 minutes, Juan Rodriguez 15, Brian Dudzinski 13, Derek Jacobs 10.5, Matt Hazard 9, Sofia Davida and Matt Rabel tied for 8 with 8, uh, Ivan Mendoza, don't know who that is, Stacy Fitzsimmons, don't know who that is, Marcus Fieldman, Feldman coming in last with 4.5 pints, 4.5 is still, I mean that's still a pretty good amount, it's like half a gallon. So yeah, that's, that's your results, that's the article, cool, cool little article from MLE, I'm pretty sure Sam Barclay wrote uh, wrote that but that diction that he uses okay now let's get to the indie star article so okay photo reel that's mainly what i want uh not really eh, it's a short article let's read it major league eating mc sam barclay was a man of the mic who set the stage and kept the crowd hanging on his every word after building the drama of the event as eminem's lose yourself blasted over the speakers mle signature barclay introduced each competitor and listed their accolades for Barclay, having a major league eating championship at the Indiana State Fair was long overdue, and a perfect fit for the historic contest. The Indiana State Fair is the spiritual home of ice cream eating. It has always been, it is, will always be on my mind, he said. This is a quote from Sam Barclay. It has taken us far too long to get here. Frankly, you saw the crowd response. You saw the energy our eaters and the bottom line set. We set a new world record today, and we set it where it should be set, and that's in Indiana. Pseudo faced tough competition. Coming in second with 15 pints was number 12 ranked eater one more by Rodriguez, and 13 pint performance from number 22 ranked eater Brian Dudley Dunziski landed him in third place. Now I want to look at the photo reel. Okay, so this is Mickey at the end. Oh, Juan looks so defeated in this picture. No, he he only lost by a pint and a half. That must be devastating for him. All right, let's go next. Uh, Pseudo, Pseudo looks pretty happy there. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so they ate it straight out of the pint. So they got like a store-bought pint, and they ate it straight out of the pint. That's interesting. Like they were, oh man, I'm, that puts it in perspective right there. 16 and a half of these, that really puts it in perspective. All right, this is just a shot of the setup. The stage is pretty nice. I like how that looks. Presentation there was good. And we have Juan here with the Santa Claus beard of ice cream just pouring down his face. It's very well shaped, by the way. It complements his beard. It's almost outlined by his beard. And the hat worn backwards. I, I don't know if the hat would be a nuisance in this case, but we'll see. That's a lot of ice cream. Uh, eaters, I think that's Rabel right there. And we got Derek Jacobs and Juan Rodriguez, random guy. Derek Jacobs going in. Brian Dudley going in. Ooh, what? With his hands? What? Oh well. Guy in dismay <laughs> from eating all that ice cream. Matt Rabel just going, going in. Mickey Sudo. This must have been the beginning of the contest because their face is still pretty. Clean. Juan Rodriguez again. And Dud Light, that must have been at the end. He looks so uncomfortable and disgusted. Oh man. Well, unfortunately, we didn't have contest footage. I will be on the lookout, like I said. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed for more videos, uh, competitive eating related videos, of course. And hopefully, I see you guys very soon with a new video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye, guys.